Hi, hey. Kendra. Hi, baby. What, your name is Z Nice, too? Yes, it is. I had to, I had to let them know that you were different, Z Nice. We actually uh, run in, used to run in the same circles back in the day. Um, I, I used to do characters on uh, GCI and uh, Power 92. He's the preacher man with Ramonski Love and Howard McGee. Okay, so you're saying you and I used to run the same circles. Well, well that's what I mean, I mean by your job. You get it on oh, the radio. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Okay, cool. So you want me to call you D Nice? You got a different name. No, you call me D Nice. D Nice. All right, and where you call? You coming from Chicago? No, actually, I'm in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina now. Charlotte. All right. All right. D Nice, Charlotte. How old are you? I am 54. All right, 54. Um, Z9 Charlotte, 54. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Libra. October 8th. Do you have any kids? I have two. Two kids. How old are your kids? Uh, 35 and 17. 35 and 17. Z9 Charlotte, 54 Libra. Two kids, 35 and 17. Um, what do you do for a living? I am a logistics coordinator at the post office. Logistics coordinator. Z9 Charlotte, 54 Libra, two kids. Let's do it. What kind of woman are you looking for? I'm actually looking for a man. No wonder your name is D9. <laughs> the D is nice, yes. <laughs> he want nice D. Nice, I'm calling you nice D. We <laughs> That's what my license nice. plate says. Nice D. Nice. <laughs> He's looking for nice D. <laughs> <laughs> no, be nice. Be nice. <laughs> my Chicago yeah. plates, my Chicago plates said D nice. My uh, other plates say nice D. Nice. D, you looking for a nice D. What kind of nice D you looking for? <laughs> no, I'm D not nice. looking for that. I give that, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you trying to get a nice D to? Uh, whoever's qualified and able to accept it. Okay, well, what are the qualifications? Um, someone that is uh, genuine at heart, comfortable in themselves, um, a giver, and family-oriented. Okay. Okay. What are what are your deal breakers? Uh, liars, of course. Deceivers. Uh, those that just have their hands out. You know, just looking for somebody to help them out here and there. That type of thing. Um, and then someone who doesn't have the the ability to communicate. You know, if you're going through something, talk about it. Don't just close up and not say anything or disappear for a period of time and then come back and say, well, you know, I was going through something. Well, the only way I would know that is if you shared that with me. Okay. So be able to communicate. That's your deal breakers. Excellent. All right. Does he have to look a certain way? Um, well kept. Um, you know, care about what you look like care about how you present yourself, uh, but no physical, no superficial qualities is not necessary, you know. No superficial qualities. Okay. What about, oh, so you just say how, you don't say how he has, oh, money. Does he, have to, does he have to make a certain amount of money? No long as he's self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. Got to be self-sufficient. All right, so this is Z Nice Charlotte. 54. You're kind of standing up, but let's do the full Kendra can. Uh, let's see. Can we got to see I your legs. Oh, jeez. Men only, ladies. This one ain't for you. <laughs> oh, be nice for a reason. Name self-explanatory. Name self ex Okay. Okay, be nice. <laughs> they call him be nice. Hey. <laughs> Oh, uh, when was your last relationship? Uh, my last relationship was uh, ended in March. March. When I moved from Phoenix, Arizona to Charlotte. When you moved from Phoenix, Arizona to Charlotte. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer. But when was the last time you gave D? Uh, 
uh, let's see, what time is it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it was, it was, the last time was in uh, April. April, okay. What are three flaws you have to work on? Um, three flaws. How can I say? Um, I'm a giving individual, and I I think I care a little bit too much to for some people that don't reciprocate it. You know, uh, it's like I give 110 percent because I know whatever I give, I'm not gonna get the exact amount back. So it's like I need to try to pull back a little bit, you know, to try to, try to even it up. You know, Libras like to try to keep things even and fair and all that, but you know, uh, that's probably one of the things that I'm just, I'm just too giving of myself. Too giving of myself, too giving of myself. Um, and why do you think you're single? Well, right now is because uh, I relocated, you know, and I don't know anyone here. Uh, I've been here two months and I have a, a good personality, so it's not hard to meet people. But as far as I don't know where the go to places are in Charlotte yet. So it's like, I'm like, eh, I don't know where I should go, where I should go hang out or go to meet somebody yet, just yet, you know. Okay. And um, when did you get to Charlotte? Pardon? When did you move to Charlotte? Uh, about six weeks ago. Okay. What, oh, you just got there. You're recent. What's the age range you would take? You're 54. Uh, 30 and up. 30 and up. Could um, what's a 30 and up? And you want the guy to be in Charlotte, correct? Uh, I would prefer it. This I was gonna ask you. Could he be bisexual, or do you want him to be straight? Okay? Whoa! Yeah, you you made my phone mess up with saying that. No, can I be bisexual? Uh, I don't. It's hard enough to find someone that is focused in one direction instead of having them focus in two directions, you know, a uh, male, a female, you know, they have these, these type of options, you know, you have enough options as it is dealing with someone trying to find a man. But if you have all these other options where, you know, you're looking at women and you're looking at men. Too much. Yes, too much going on. Too much going on. So no bisexual men. I, right. I'm gonna gotta be lucky to be with you. Um, I'm a provider. Um, I'm a great communicator. Uh, I'm a great listener. I do that tremendously uh, with a lot of people. You know, a lot of people gravitate to me. You know, tell me their issues. Not that I can give you advice about them, but they feel compelled to want to share things with me. So I'm a good communicator. Um, like I say, I'm a provider. I'm a great listener, you know, and I show up. You need me, I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is let me know. I need you. I got you. Okay. And let's do it. He needs you. He got you. D nice, men only, Charlotte, 54 Libra. Okay, you have two kids. So explain to me. Are they two kids <laughs> biological? Okay. All right, I'm going to give you my business. I had my first one uh, at a young age. Uh, I knew what I, I knew who I was at a young age, but, you know, you have, back then you had girls that say, well, you know what, I can fix you. You know, I give you some of this, it, this will straighten you out. You know, and from one time, that's what happened. It did straighten me out. Didn't but work. you have two kids, so there's oh. more than one. Artificial insemination. Oh. So let me ask you this. Okay, artificial insemination. You, so that was surrogate? Yes. Okay. The first child, you only so did you only have sex with uh, a woman one time in your life? So you had sex one time with a woman and she got pregnant. <laughs> I told you, it's nice. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness it is crazy i wanted to go back to how you said the girl said i'm gonna fix you there's people
people because there are people who don't believe that you can be born gay and they say things like that to gay people all the time they say things like oh it's because you were raised with a single mom that's right. why you I, had, I had both parents my father military man so that wasn't it wasn't it wasn't that, it wasn't that at all mm. whoever I'm, so shall i see your child's mama who you trying yeah, to fix and them? i'm not and i'm not you know like i say you know they say you raise around your mother or you only have a grandmother or something like that. You have all these feminine qualities. I don't act a certain way. I'm just me. And I'm naturally masculine. You know, uh, when I used to live in Atlanta, they used to call me trade because, you know, the way I walked around and carried myself, I'm like, well, I'm not trying to be anything that I'm not. I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what they got from that. So it's like I don't exude feminine traits. You know, I do t have a tendency to talk with my hands some, but you know, I don't do all this. And no, 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 no disrespect to those that do, you know, but that's just not, not me. Okay. Fair enough. All right. They call him D Nice because he gives good D. They call him D Nice because he gives D good D. This right, right. Hey, hey, if you want to get the D from D Nice, how could they reach out to you? Uh, my Instagram is D Nice to me. Uh, 2.0. That's D nice, the number two, M E 2.0. All right, fellas that are interested, come get that D. Hey. Woo, you be making my phone. You just doing a number on my phone, boy. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right, well, listen, nice to virtually meet you. <laughs> well, thank you. You too. Oh, you it is my pleasure. I just wish that I would have been able to do it while I was in Chicago while you. You know, still on the radio, and then you'd actually saw the different characters that I do. Okay, okay. Well, who knows how life will play itself out? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You never All right. know. All right, bye, baby. Bye, bye. Come get that. Go get that D, fellas. <laughs> bye, baby. All right.